What do you think girl dinner is? <laughs> they all know what it is. What uh, do you think girl dinner is? Is it, is it a, a dinner for cisgendered females? <laughs> yes. But what do you think is served at girl dinner? If you had a guess. Oh, no. I, don't tell me that can, they're not cannibals, are they? No. It's, <laughs> it's not a, Please welcome to the stage the legend herself. It's Janine Garofalo. Oh my goodness. How are you? Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Thanks for being here. Thank you for Oh my gosh. It's a mess. It's a oh, mess. Come on. It's a mess. Uh, there's a segment called housekeeping. What is <laughs> Yeah. That's Shall when I, I tidy in the chair? up. Shall I sit in the Did you pay money? Did you rent the mic? Okay. I'll sit in the chair. First of all, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you, you too. And I was thinking, I remember your special, and I vividly remember you making fun of uh, the caricatures that were on the bus in the movie Speed. Do you oh remember that? Oh my God, that? that's a, we're going back to the yeah. early 90s. Um, uh, I was, I, I believe, because if you recall, and some of you um, might not have been born yet or whatever, but the movie Speed with Sandy B, America's sweetheart Sandy B. Yeah. Um, it was a paint by numbers. There was like the shit, like like every the construction worker, a construction the worker, tourist, old lady. But like, but my biggest suspension of disbelief in the movie was that the bus stopped for her when she was running after it, and and wait, I feel like that was the most implausible uh, part of that film. But. Yes, I can't believe you remember that. that yeah, was so very vivid. Ago. Yeah, no, I done. I didn't even. I just. I saw you, and it struck me a little. A little memory, like um, uh -huh. the thing with the cookie. Uh, but but a person. That's from a book I've never read. Uh, now, is it true that you don't have a computer? Yes, and now let me just say, and when you said that up front, I guarantee you, ninety percent of you went, yeah, right. Because it's impossible, it, people can't, now there are people out there who believe in ghosts, believe in extraterrestrials, believe the universe speaks to them, but it's a bridge too far. I realize that, and I'm not mocking you, I'm just saying, I real, I, I, and you don't know me, but I, I can only say that I would not be dishonest with you. I would never say, I would not say that. Now, having said that, I have a, I bought a tablet three years ago, because I was like, I'm going to learn, I'm going to get, I'm going to get with it. And uh, it's the best TV and radio I've ever had that I can carry from room to room. And, and, and uh, I was forced to use a, a computer and, and get a cell phone when I worked at Air America in the early 2000s. And, oh, thank you. Thank you. And I, I just, I'm not comfortable with it. Now, I, I'm 50, I grew up without any of this stuff. And it didn't really even kick in until I was already a middle-aged lady with a drinking problem. I, I'm not allowed to drink anymore. But the, it's not natural for me. It's not intuitive. And also, now my boyfriend has a computer. So if, if there is an email sent, he shows it to me. But, uh, and I, and I, it's not noble. Like I said, this is a value neutral thing. And it's a choice I've made, how I live my life, and, and you will sacrifice a great deal. Now, if I had children and a different kind of job, I, of course, would be more connected. It would be irresponsible, probably not to be. But uh, I, I don't know, and there's a fake me tweeting I've heard and a fake Facebook me, but I don't know why. But uh, I, I don't have social media platforms or anything because also I feel the more you put yourself out there, the more you give people a reason to dislike you. And you know the phrase, you're your own worst critic? It's not true, as it happens. And, uh, and uh, I prefer to be well-liked. Validation from others defines me. And it truly does. And I, I'm needy like that. And, and, and uh, it, it hurts. And so much backlash, you know this from what you do. When, we, when I worked at Air America, the backlash for being that. reasonable uh, is it, painful and it feels unjust and it, and it hurts a great deal. And so then I remember after I left Air America, I shut it down. I was like, I just need to take a break. And it felt so good. It felt like my life was prior to that. And, um, and I have a cell phone. It's, it's a, it could be a smartphone. It's not, it's not hooked up to the internet. But uh, I mean, it, it, it technically could be. It's a Galaxy. But uh, it's a Galaxy phone. 
Uh, I, yeah, yeah, we believe you. I, I mean, I, listen, listen, I, it's about this big. And, <laughs> and I, don't, I didn't bring it with me. And, and, and like I said, this is not noble. It's just how I have chosen to live. And, and you will sacrifice a great deal by living that way. Well, what I, what I appreciate about it, uh, and we'll, we're going to get to what you've missed, uh, <laughs> is I do think one of the, the unfortunate aspects of what's happened is every one of these technologies goes from opt-in to opt-out. At yeah. first, it's something you can try, and then you're a kook for not having it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's cool that you're like, I'm still not on board. I'm out. Well, no, it's, it's not. Like I said, it's not cool. It's about my uh, anxiety issues and about... Uh, Trying, you know, it, it, it's just, and it makes me feel helpless sometimes, and eventually I will be unable to function. Uh, and I still try and use cash as much as I can, as Susie Orman would want me to do. That's right, I said it, Susie Orman. <laughs> Fiduciary responsibility, fiscal prudence. I like the cut of her jib, she knows what's what, I await further instruction. But uh, the, she wants us to use cash more, people, come on. Uh, but you know what I mean? I, do you know? And I'm sure many of you, and I don't order stuff online, and how, I get almost no scam likely calls. Huh. Which I also think would be a great gangster name, though. Sca scam, scam likely. likely. I don't even know if that, it is scam likely anymore. My phone's older, so maybe it's called something else now. Maybe like scam a, likely had a scam. When an incoming call that's not, is it still Potential called scam, scam likely? Potential spam. Potential spam. Well, but I can't, it, it, everything is harder for me. Traveling is harder. Every, everything is, I, I, I used to have a travel agent that I could call. You know what I mean? And stuff like now, now I have to, and it, and it feels terrible to feel helpless. It does, and I do need to learn these things. I do need to, to change. But it feels like math homework. I, I, honestly, it's like, and when people try and explain it to me, the cone of, comes down like, like, like in math class and stuff. I'm not proud of any of this. <laughs> well, um, I think if you're worried about feeling like you need to change, I think we can maybe help push those fears off for a little while tonight <laughs> because uh, now it is time for a, uh, for a segment we're calling, hey, do you know about this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> hey! I didn't know I owned that hoodie. Uh, here's, here's how it works. I'm going to ask you about a very online phenomenon. Okay. And you're going to have to tell us what you think it is. Okay. And then we're going to show you what it really is. Okay. Okay. The first one is called Attenzione Pickpocket. Attenzione Pickpocket? Attenzione it... Pickpocket. That's what it's called. Is that, is that either a Latino or a Mediterranean it um, is Mediterranean. call to arms for be uh, aware of... Yes, yes, okay. it is. Well, you know what? Let's give it to her. Attenzione Borsegiatrici! Attenzione Pickpocket! Pickpocket! Attenzione Pickpocket! There is... There is a woman. Oh, so it's a it's, it's a Italian, Italian woman it's like, who okay. runs around Venice chasing pickpockets. <laughs> and when I tell you that I hear these words at every point of every day, whenever I see Trump, I think attenzione, pickpocket. So she's on the TikTok. She's on the TikTok. The TikTok. She's on yeah? TikTok. Uh, next up, what do you think girl dinner is? <laughs> they all know what it is. What do you think girl dinner is? Is it, is it a, a dinner for cisgendered females? Yes. But what do you think is served at girl dinner? Do you got a guess? Oh, no. I, don't tell me that can, they're not cannibals, are they? No. It's, it's, not a, it's a dinner for girls, not a dinner of girls. Well, you just said it. You had such a... What do you think they... You had a... Uh, girl dinner is a new online term for the lazy gal charcuterie board for a meal instead of cooking. There's also I've heard a of a butter board. It's, oh, yeah, oh, so th that got to you. Butter board has reached well, you. Well, I watch, I like to watch uh, uh, cooking shows. I don't like to cook, but I enjoy watching others cook. What do you think about a butter board? Uh, I only saw it the one time. <laughs> and actually it was in a People magazine when my plane was delayed. Um, I was at, at Hudson News at uh, the new LaGuardia, the I, new LaGuardia, the new LaGuardia Airport, 
Hey, they have all the Cheez-Its now. They have all the Cheez-Its now at the new LaGuardia, at least in the Delta Wing. They do. Nice. It's not just Cheddar Jack anymore. They got, they got, all they got it all. That's yeah. cool. And fountains. Yeah. It's like Caesar's Palace. Yeah, they did a nice job on that terminal. I'm sure, I'm sure it was... A, I'm sure it was at least the Delta one, like I said, is, uh, is just... It's only the Delta one. one. We're only talking about the Delta but, one. But uh, you can get duos, extra toasty, uh, white cheddar. <laughs> Truly. It's a smorgasbord. It's amazing. Uh, they laugh. They laugh. Next up. But it's the truth. Attention. What do, Jesus. <laughs> what do you think happens if you drink... The Grimace Shake from McDonald's. Okay, now the Grimace Shake I'm aware of. It's a you green wear shake. A, I've seen the no, commercial. It's, it's purple. That's the Shamrock Shake. Oh, the Shamrock. I'm sorry. Is that, uh, and the Fudgy the Whale, the Carvel. <laughs> the Carvel ice cream cake. Yeah. And, and uh, what was the Cookie-O, Cookie-O Puss? Cookie Puss. Cookie, but, but there, and not for Thanksgiving, the other one. they had, yeah, I yeah. mean, St. Patrick's Christmas. Day, yeah, it yeah. was Cookie-O Puss. In Carvel in New Jersey. Carvel. You're dodging the question. I'm sorry. What? What was it? Happens. Yes. If you drink a McDonald's Grimace Shake, what does it do to you? Uh, you have an upset stomach and you may, th- you may regurgitate purple. Uh, Your no, I'm sorry. Get purple. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You have a paranormal experience in which bad things seem to happen that are inexplicable. Let's roll the clip. Happy birthday. He's throwing up. He They're is throwing, throwing up. up. All right, today we get the Grimace birthday shake. We're going to be doing a taste test. Let's see how it is. Hmm. That's actually. It's floating above a building. So it seems to unlock. So, so the correct answer was drinking uh-huh. a Grimace shake unlocks some kind of deep evil from within the right. world that causes harm to happen to you and oh, around you. I think you. it's just your lower GI functions are compromised, uh, <laughs> especially if you're lactose intolerant or that kind of thing. But is this what people do at work all day? They look, they, this is what it's makes a lot of the it. day-to-dayness of work it's a lot tolerable. Of it. You can sit so and, we've and done a really look cool, at all this. Here's what we've done. We've done a really cool thing where you're, you, you uh, distract yourself all day, but you're also always at work. So right. you work... Your work gets spread out over a longer part of the day. That's the right. choice we've made. Right. But you don't want them to know you can get it done fast. No, no, no. That's like, that's, take time. That's, why, that's why the cities spend the construction budget at the end of the year. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I just do crossword puzzles and doodle. I actually have a sketch and do cro- for neuroplasticity all day. Oh. Do you do the Times crossword? I... It hurts me. It takes me, the Sunday, I do it in pencil. And I also went to Barnes and Noble and bought uh, a 250 New York Times crossword puzzle. I can't tell you how much it hurts me, how long it takes me. Cause, and also I can't spell very well. Um, and, but it's a, it's a principal thing. And sometimes the, New, the Sunday time, it takes me to like Thursday to finish. And it's just on my mind all the time. And it, and it really is upsetting. Because I'm, I'm quite stupid, unfortunately. I'm intellectually curious, which is a plus, but I'm, I'm really quite limited. Um, neuro- I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You know, I listened to Air America Radio on the first day. I bought a radio so that I could oh listen gosh. to the very first day of Air America Radio. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was awesome. It really was, it really was, it was important to me because it was like, yeah, we're going to fucking do a radio station. Uh, so. We're, we're going to do one more. All right. This is called... Ice cream gang gang. And, I, and this one actually, I don't, I'm going to show you it, and then you're going to tell us what you think okay. you just saw. All right. Roll the clip. Mmm, ice cream so good. Mmm, ice cream so good. Keeping money gun. I got your name. Gang gang. Mmm, ice cream so good. Go crazy. Go crazy. Mm. I, I, uh... What did you just see? I, I'm not sure, and, and you know, she's so attractive, she doesn't need to, uh, so, to do that. She's very attractive. Hey, so, you know, it's a lovely young lady, there's no reason. Why, why, why do people do this stuff? What, what, you know, well, I'll tell you why. 
I'll tell you what's happening. Creating content, creating content, creating content, creating content. Well, because, so do you know what an NPC is? It's called a non-playable character. Do you know what that is? Does that ring any bells for you? I've heard all of those words before. So the reason she is doing that is uh-huh. because she has discovered that by pretending to be a non-playable character, a video game character who just does repeat oh, motions, okay. that people will pay her to okay. do specific video game character sounding actions repeatedly. Oh, that's all right. So she's and using she's her making, noodle. All right, and, I and get it. She's making so much money doing this. That, that actually... Make, Did yeah, someone she, say she's a scab? <laughs> this oh, is, well, you Sally, think this, this is competing with the studios? <laughs> but I was going to say, that's resourceful. That's, yeah. that's using modern platforms to, to, yeah. to uh, seek work. That actually... Man. Kudos to you, man. Can she hear me? <laughs> oh, no, this isn't live. Oh, okay. This isn't live. So we I, can't, well, this is not happening right now. I like that you came out here being like, I, I do the crossword puzzle by hand, and two weeks from now you're gonna be like, I'm Janine, ice cream so good, ice cream so good. <laughs> Everybody, give it up for Janine Garofalo. She'll be back for the Grant Wheel. This was so much fun. Thank you so much. 